Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with me, Isaac Hydra. We're going to be doing a mirror match within this of the Imperial Navy against the Imperial Navy. Now, you will excuse me if my voice crackles and whistles and breaks a little bit during this. I'm not going through puberty for the second time. Uh, I am, uh, and Nurgle still has me quite literally by the throat, so uh, I squeak every now and again, and you have my full permission to laugh at me. It's pretty funny. Now, uh, let's have a look at the actual video. I am rocking a bunch of exorcists, and no, I would not recommend you use this. I also have a Dauntless and a few swords rocking around the map, and we're putting all of our all of our fighters to begin with on a little escort here which we're going to be hiding over in the gas cloud basically so they so the uh, enemy can't see that i have these currently on a let's say a defensive stance so i can move them out if i need to but i want to hide them there hopefully to basically try and bait out anything he wants to send against me now being against the imperial navy it's not particularly likely although these fighters will come in use if he gets to a torpedo range and he starts sending a bunch of torpedoes at me but this is going to be a weird game because exorcists aren't really the best they're workable but they're not really that great they have a bit of macro damage and they have a little bit of macro range but they're going to get outshot by everything so you need to get the value out of their fighters so we're going to see if we can do that within this game and one thing that I do like about this map is we that serve. there is a lot of um, clouds hanging around. So there is a lot of ways to break a line of sight. So here we go. We can move our escort over. And that's going to be Changing one torpedo course. wave which the fighters will be able to take down. Now, fighters are very, very impressive when it comes to uh, taking down torpedoes. They do a really, really good job of shooting them down. So right now... Uh, worth noting as well, I don't even have a stance on my actual ships. A little bit of a rookie error from me. I do have silent running on the Dauntless, so I did remember something, uh, even even in my poor health. Uh, but we're getting there. So, let's see what the enemy has. The enemy has a bunch of tyrants. And if I remember correctly, they are rocking... Uh, are they rocking a mixture of um, lance and macro? We'll find out soon enough. I always forget, there's so many Imperial Navy ships uh, that it's a little bit dangerous to uh, make assumptions but it would have actually been safer just to look but then again his ship names are in russian uh, that's a bit confusing oh no mine are in russian well there you go so the probes obviously revealed all of his units we have our dauntless there moving to the side it does look like he just has macros and torpedoes so it looks like a macro uh, sorry a torpedo version of the avenger so we're going to try and get a try and get a ram here on his escort but he's moved away we've run out of thrust and we're never going to catch up with him so we're basically just going to get out to a range where we can go back into silent running uh, send him off to the corner for now don't want to lose my ship quite happy just to buy myself time which is going to allow my fighters to actually do something aggressive now fortunately because we managed to tag his ship with my probe well we can send out some fighters try and destroy some turrets he's he has quite a few uh, in total quite a few turrets uh, available 12 per ship if he is to group up on uh, brace for impact that that's going to take out fighters fairly fast but we'll see how good uh, these guys do once we send them in obviously got two escorts here sat around currently waiting for some orders decided to uh, patrol them and spread them out a little bit dauntless going round the back not going for the capture down to the south which would have been quicker to capture instead going for the northern territory to contest uh, odd, oddly enough i do have an escort heading up north as well so i think that's a little bit of a blunder from me also decided not to contest the area on the left as well so i think i could have done a little bit better here in terms of general map awareness i think i probably could have contested that point on the far right hand side with my dauntless and had the other escort heading up north. He doesn't have a huge amount of range with these ships, so I think that would have been safe to do. Now, you notice my ships are heading straight away. I need to make use of all of this, all of this, every single thing I've got, all nine of these charges, I need to get use out of. Otherwise, I'm just going to get shot the hell out of in a firefight, and it's not going to end well. What we're going to do, though, is contest this point on the far left. And you'll notice we have actually stripped down quite a few of his turrets. So that's uh, the rest of his turrets are basically now going to be gone after this little wave. And we just about make it in, in time in order to uh, knock off this point and prevent him from capturing it. Now, it does seem if we can take his shields out, we might be able to get a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky lightning strike. But I think that's going to be a little bit of ambitious. Oh, it's so close. OK, would have been nice to get a lightning strike just to get rid of an escort it's okay maybe not top priority to kill an escort but getting rid of some of his map control uh, against a slower fleet it is useful and you notice as well he's following he's he's in pursuit and i am just saying nope you know what i am not interested we're going to start moving down now and uh, we still don't have a stance for my actual ships like the complete noob that i am um, i would suggest right now to be in reload 
it's better for sending out fighters and it's better for maneuverability. I don't care too much about range right now because I'm not going to have him within my broadside range often enough for it to contribute. I'm just trying to send out fighters and they're doing a great job right now. So now we can go for bombers and we're going to stack the bombers all on one ship at a time now because, well, stacking up lots of damage on one ship may, uh, may damage enough components. Also, worth pointing out as well, I've not targeted individual ship components for these, uh, for these units. That would have been a good idea to do. Going to prepare those guys to uh, move down south once they've captured that. And now we're going to move down south. We're going to try and buy ourselves as much time as we can. We've managed to use a couple of waves of fighters. Some of them have returned, which has been nice. We've destroyed the majority of the turrets on his ship. And this is a decent player. This is the fourth um, fourth rank Imperial Navy player. So they, they know what they're doing. And there you go. There is the bomber damage. Actually, not too shabby at all. Ah, and we get a boarding action here. And we get a couple of lightning strikes as well. Is that a scuttle? There you go. There's a scuttle. Drifting Hulk confirmed. And uh, he is still in chase. I finally switched to reload stance. Which, if I had used earlier... Uh, it would have really helped. Now, it looks like he's heading to the right. So what I'm thinking here is, okay, maybe I can swing around the other side. The, the Imperial Navy turning angle is, is not great. So maybe I can swing around behind him. It, basically, I'm just sneaking, sneaking and snaking my way around to try and buy myself as, as much time as I can. I think if I just continued to head east, then he would have been able to head me off in a diagonal direction. So instead, by changing direction again here, we're forcing him to turn, which again, Again, just buys me more time there is of course an element of risk here um, he's heading near the gas clouds too so we're gonna put a probe into there so that's basically just gonna get me some better vision it's got one turret odd collectively on a ships and of course the flagship does as well so they're basically now sitting ducks uh, we can move along here but he is going to intercept I don't have a full set of thruster here comes the torpedoes and I don't think we have fighters to actually contest this so that might be a little bit painful. We need to manage fairly carefully our amount of thrust here. So it looks like this ship is going to be taking a few. Yep, yep, that's going to be taking a few. Now, I could have changed it to be facing directly away. Fortunately, actually, it was a melter, which means I can use a repair function. And provided he doesn't do a critical hit on me now, I I'll get away with that. If he were to crit my engine right now, though, that would be an absolute disaster. So I, 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 this is basically relying on a little bit of luck right here. And that's probably a, an error on my part. Mainly, again, comes down to not being on the reload stance for pretty much the entire game, uh, which is just a, a disastrous thing to do. 37 seconds till the fighters are coming off a cooldown again, and we're getting our escorts in. He's contesting the top, and I think that's where we should probably get the uh, Dauntless up to uh, contest that. But we do have point control right now. We've got three. The enemy currently has zero, and that's going to work in our favour. We're doing a decent job of getting that map control right now. We have enough of our Q button, our thrust, to avoid some of these torpedoes. And you can see that we've kind of confused him and put him in a, in a state where he's he's got the majority of the ships in a position where now we can actually go around directly east again. And now we've got a slightly better angle uh, where we might be able to get a bit more distance. Now, of course, he does have a flagship up there. We're going to do two fighters and one bomber which should be sufficient ah there's a stasis bomb so fine we'll just go south and around that looks like the safest thing to do fortunately we've got the uh, fighters out beforehand so that's going to be fairly useful now it does seem that i'm going for a aha the gamble this is the gamble of the game the big big gamble i'm sending my flagship now as uh, as a means to hopefully try and uh, buy my other units some time and this is this is a big gamble. It, it's it's going to look attractive, the fact that I'm splitting up now, and hopefully to him he's thinking, what can I do to take advantage of this? Well, I've got micro warp jump as well, and that was very, very close on timing. That could have gone so, so badly, but what that did was basically bait out the uh, flagship, and that just worked in our favour. We, we haven't used a lightning strike yet for our flagship. Uh, which does actually have the Calixus Assassin, which is exceptionally powerful. Very, very good ability. Now, how the hell is that ship still alive? Still got a few troops left. So we're going to send one shark assault boat over there. It's not got any turrets. Two shark assault boats should be enough to take it down. Um, haven't actually done the maths, but it looks like that'll probably be enough to take that down. I don't know if he's reinforced yet, but uh, we'll see if he does that. It took me a while to send the Dauntless up north. It looks like maybe it got a little bit stuck there. But uh, here we have one more unit with seven turrets still, which is why I'm sending the fighters here. Another set of torpedoes heading my way, straight onto the flagship and a little bit slow with the reaction there. 
uh, and there we go we're going to do a little bit of probing as uh, all imperial officers are born to do and we do have our lightning strike here at the ready which we're going to finally use and there's the instant mutiny coming from that assassin 500 morale damage from that is absolutely huge and an absolute killer now we're slightly ahead on points right now we're slightly ahead on points we've managed to tackle uh, one enemy ship down and another enemy ship is low so we're slowly slowly whittling him down and this is really just a game of kiting and this is, I, I would say, uh, about the best I could hope for within this. We've got another ship that has fairly low troops. We managed to kill one. This is this is looking fairly promising, but uh, he could quite easily, I think, catch back up. So uh, we do have a flagship here now, which is fairly low on turrets. And we have a oh, ship here that looks like it's going to get caught in the stasis. Yep, it ran out of boost. Now, it does seem that I'm sending out fighters, and because they come out the front of the ship, it does, it does actually appear outside of the stasis bomb, which is uh, fairly fortunate for me. And it does seem, though, that this ship may get caught, which is uh, not too good. We do have a boarding action we can use to try and take down the ship from uh, yellow to red. Uh, but that does seem that it looks like this is probably going to be the end of this ship. Might have been a good idea here to put it into brace for impact or something of that nature, just to um, make it survive a little bit longer and also just uh, help uh, prevent it from mutinying a little bit quicker. But we're capturing points back, the enemy is doing so as well. So the enemy is working on capturing his third point, and it does seem that that ship over on the far left was able to do a call to arms and able to gather enough crew to... Um, to basically mitigate those two boarding torpedoes. So that really caught me by surprise. Now we're using micro warp jump here. Take out this pesky escort. It, it's probably a little bit of overkill. Um, always forget which ships you can scuttle and which ones you can't. A boarding action is not enough to scuttle one of the larger Imperial ships. It's worth noting, but now it's red. It probably has a few systems damaged. There we go. Now we're going to be able to get one more squadron off. We're going to go, there you go. He's only got three turrets left one turret left zero turrets left now um so that's going to be an easy go for the for the troops here so they're going to knock him down to red that's going to do some morale damage too so that's looking pretty good and we've managed to get our other ship nice and far away so even though we have sacrificed a ship here i feel like we've gained a few things for it it's, it's maybe not ideal there you go bombers should be able to deal with this bombers should be able to deal with this it does seem that it's uh, it's having a few troubles going into uh into its uh, high energy maneuvers so perhaps it's uh, i don't even think you can damage engines for these small ships but well either way it's not running away particularly quickly and i will gladly try and take advantage of that and you notice as well thanks to that kill on my ship which is quite an expensive ship uh, he has managed to gain 300 points so it is not too far away he's also heading over to the northeast side of the map where there's a large amount of points and it does seem that he's finally moving on around to um, head out and head for oh there you go let's move out of the way looks like that probe will probably intercept the enemy there and get stuck on them so we're not actually revealing the enemy flagship which is a shame because taking that down would really hurt the morale of these uh, poor imperial officers but thus far looking fairly promising we have a unit up here which is pretty low on health and uh well it's got one single unit left we're getting that escort to do something and that's going to be the scuttle so the dauntless is finally doing something productive with its life it's basically there just to board um so that is going to be one unit basically made redundant for now that's looking good and um, we can start shooting it but it is going to take probably about a week uh in order to kill it's going to be slow we're going to get our other ship taking the other point here Escorts taking the south, uh, which means we will have a uh, point dominance again soon. But the enemy is right next to me. It's very close to my ships, and I'm still a little bit nervous at this point. And even though it looks like I could probably cap scum this just with... I shouldn't say the word cap scum. It's not scummy at all. Should be able to take care of it just with escorts, but uh, still a little bit nervous right now. Red crew on the enemy, uh, enemy flagship here, so that's something worth taking note of. And we'll probably have the um, assassin up fairly soon. The assassin's already up. Up, so we can keep an eye on a ship perhaps try and take down some of these uh, take down some of these shields so we can do an assassination uh, it looks like a little bit of kiting first thing a little bit of confusion coming from me as to what I'm trying to do I go trying to just buy a little bit of time and that should be enough to do a lightning strike looks like I'm trying to avoid torpedoes though which makes sense managed to dodge half of them not too bad not too bad bombers off you go 
try and damage that ship should have targeted the engines i think especially when you're sending out bombers because well they can still hit engines and crit them which is handy dandy and they have a decent crit hit chance and uh there we go we're going to send off some some more boarding uh, torpedoes down here try and buy a little bit of time against the flagship too which is coming down to try and capture this point not going to have any of that still haven't used the lightning strike and there you go there's the mutiny now that does mean he can execute his crew which is fine because well now he's down to yellow crew and his generators damaged that's absolutely fine and we can re-drifting hulk the other ship that's up here too boarding mechanic please change that's right we're not in the beta server guys the queues are just a little bit too long we still have micro warp jump as well something worth factoring in and uh, there's that little squeak in my voice coming back so we just got the Dauntless right now basically patrolling doing mobile lightning strikes not really got a huge amount of value from it this game but the amount of uh, harassment we've been able to do to the enemy ships has been pretty glorious a bit probably been a pretty frustrating game to play against to be fair the boarding mechanic and fighters can be a little bit obnoxious but that being said the uh, northeast side of the map is pretty good in terms of points so i think this is actually a, one of those maps or even the northwest side looks pretty good for in terms of cloud coverage that you could probably play quite well against a carrier fleet um with a few ships just on brace for impact and kiting their their stuff so i'm going to send the old probe down there we still have a semi-healthy flagship at this point it does seem that the points are slowly slowly going up in my favor we only have two points under our control and there is that uh, recapture and rescuffle again just not letting him have anything this game we're just not letting him do it oh dear he's going for the ramp not having that not having that we're going to try and keep this unit alive try and keep it alive it's going to take a full macro volley though there you go send him around the back keep him alive a little bit longer boarding torpedoes on the way down and we are capturing oh we've got two points actually i think that's probably enough he's decapturing the one on the right i'm trying to decapture this one it looks like it's it's not going to happen is it it's going to take too long uh killing that ship down there with the dauntless would have made a little bit more sense so uh, i think i could have done better in terms of uh, maximizing the efficiency of that dauntless getting it to do better um, or more hunting at the beginning i think would have been helpful too uh, we have an escort that nope it's not going to get a chance to scuttle not enough time uh, but what can we do perhaps we can get our flagship down there and involved nope can't do that because your escorts died hydra so where are you going to go okay i'm going to go up to the top right we have a unit that is currently on fire pretty low on health oh dear oh dear oh dear do we need to no we've managed to escape that we've managed to narrowly escape looks like he's going for the torpedo volley or has he already used all of them i think he might have actually i think he might have so we managed to prevent him from capturing this point which has worked out beautifully i've lost a lot of troops to do this 41 seconds till i can reinforce that should go fine he's got a pretty low flagship right now uh, and i do have my micro warp jump at the ready to get out 500 points up for me things are looking pretty decent and we're just bringing our other ship down there cheeky little ram here would probably be not a bad idea with our flagship but i believe our engines are currently in a little bit of jeopardy oh and there is the scuttle just before he could go for the ram ah he's managed to counter as well but the engines are damaged he's not going anywhere he's just going to be crawling after me and that's going to be frustrating that's going to be very frustrating now it's safe to say that the flagship of mine is not going to be doing particularly well here so it looks like my choice instead is to simply go down south guarantee that we capture this point because as much fun as it is to kill stuff well it's also sometimes a good idea to try and win as well so we're going to try and capture this uh, a little bit quicker with two ships there we really can't do anything at this point all of his ships are, are low and uh, very low on troops as well we still have a few fighters left and so uh, we will slowly wrap things up guys i hope you've enjoyed the game it's certainly a uh, an interesting uh, play style using carriers i have to say i'm not a massive fan especially with some of the stronger uh, versions such as the orc but i think the imperial navy mixed in with a little micro warp jump here and there is actually quite uh, quite a bit interesting to use guys love to hear your thoughts down below if there's any fleets in particular you would like to see me use uh, any factions in particular or any tips or advice you would like feel free to ask down in the comments this has been wonderful fun and my voice is feeling more croaky by the minute i'll see you next time guys have yourself a great day. Damage teams, begin repairs now.